after taking a break to get myself in better health, I'm finally back to make more reviews. This time, we'll focus on some smaller games that I don't have to take forever to play and also have a lot to talk about. As my larger reviews didn't get noticed and I wasn't ready to work so hard for no payoff again. Well, what better game to start off fresh with than a classic Mario Kart clone? This being DreamWorks Madagascar Karts, a surprisingly fun little game that doesn't have much to offer, but still offers a decent amount of fun despite its lackluster roster of characters, tracks, and modes to play with. Let's jump into the game and explain why it's worth checking out. Tell me, Mr. Alex, where do I get one of these rickshaws? But King Julian, you don't know how to drive. Yeah, driving isn't the same thing as crashing, Julian. Details, details, Mr. Alex. I will prove to the entire world who is the best driver. We'll have a competition, one I'm sure to win. Oh, I'm excited now. Ooh, look at me, giddy with the speed and the burning rubber and the rubbing engines. Vroom, vroom. While the game is focused on Madagascar 1 and 2, it also features some other characters from DreamWorks, such as Shrek and Bob from Shrek and Monsters vs. Aliens MVA. As for Madagascar characters, we got Alex the Lion, Marty the Zebra, Melvin the Giraffe, Gloria the Hippo, I like them big, I like them plumpy. The penguins, just smile and wave boys, just smile and wave, King Julian, and the chimps. I dare say old chap, this is quite a tiny roster. Given that this is two movies in, there's plenty of characters they could have included. I mean, where's Alex's parents? Or how about the grandma, bad kitty? They could have included some more options at the least, but it's whatever. With only 9 characters, it's just a bit lacking. I'm just glad the penguins are here. Well played, Rico. And that's why they call me your game controls poorly, it's a bad game no matter what. That's my view. With Madagascar Karts, it's actually quite good. Nothing feels awful as I played with 6 of the 9 characters on all 9 tracks in every mode. Nothing felt awful as the steering, speed, and drifting are were all adequate. While every character has different stats. Not one stood out as the worst, unlike in Mario Kart, where some are just so bad they might as well not exist. Like in Mario Kart, one can get items from boxes or crates to use against other racers and to give yourself a boost. You have things like bags of bananas for people to hit. TNT that explodes over time behind you. Coconut bomb which seeks out a person in front of you and blows them up. Spider web which temporarily stops another person in front of you. Invincibility crate. Speed boost. Stink bomb. And more. With one being extremely annoying. The horn. No mercy soldiers. Just like there's only 9 characters, Madagascar Karts has only 9 tracks as well, with 2 being from Shrek and Monsters vs. Aliens. You have Plane Wreck within Savannah, from the second movie being the first track. Very boring and ugly to look at. I mean it's a Savannah, of course it's ugly, 
It's just brown and washed out colors. Nothing special. Shark Beach features the one scene with Mort running away from the shark as an obstacle, but otherwise isn't anything special. New York City Zoo is very small and basic with sharp turns. With other tracks being Fossa Rocks, Volcano, Shipping Freighter, Shrek Swamp, Watering Hole, and Mothership. Every track features some kind of obstacle like tables and chairs, alligators, giraffes buried neck deep in the dirt, lasers, molting lava rocks, etc. My personal favorite is Mothership as it's the rainbow road of the game. It's the longest track with several ways to get into last place if you're not careful with your turns and drifts. But my least favorite has to be Fossa Rock, just cause it's literal rocks, nothing but gray and brown colors, just nothing special. The game features a few game modes, all of which are standard Mario Kart minus battle mode. There's no battle mode. Now that's a sin right there. How dare you pull a Mario Kart 8 on Wii U? Well yes, Mario Kart 8 did have one. It wasn't the real deal, so it doesn't count. But hey, we still have Quick Race, Championship, Time Trials, Move It Move It, and checkpoint race. Quick race is your standard jump right into a single match mode. Championship is needed to unlock tracks and characters as you must complete all nine tracks in three cups in all four CCs to unlock everything. Sadly no cheat codes to get everything right away. So enjoy grinding playing the same few tracks over and over again just to play a Shrek. Not worth it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we are slouching towards victory. I love the smell of winning in the morning. Speaking of not worth it, let's talk time trial. You just race alone trying to get a certain time for the gold medal with nothing earned for doing so. It's just so boring. I mean, the whole point of these kart games is the chaos of all the racers and the items flying everywhere. I don't see the appeal in time trials. Move It Move It was probably the most unique and chaotic mode as you have to get hold of the disco ball and move it move it through gates to score points and avoid the other racers to rack up as many points as possible to win in the end. It's very very fast pace, tons of items are flying everywhere, the disco ball is constantly being switched around between owners and it is very very challenging and a whole lot of fun. Here's the tickets. Don't disturb the gates, Phil. It's giving us points. Finally, Checkpoint Race has you trying to speed through any track of choice with any character of choice and getting sand timers to keep the timer from reaching zero as you speed through the track with very little wiggle room for error. It's just not a fun time, but hey, at least it's not time trials. I hate that mode with a passion, even in Mario Kart itself. I never cover it in my reviews for a reason, but here I made an exception. Anyways, let's get this review over with. I don't think my health insurance covers stunts like that. Oh no, this is really tense. The last bit to talk about is the music being generic with only one exception being I like to move it move it here 
be in here, cause of course it is. Wouldn't be right to have King Julian without Move It Move It. But sadly, the voice cast is mostly imitators due to the actors, fees, and cutting corners. There's also no battle mode, which sucks. There's a multiplayer mode if you have friends, to which of course you obviously don't because you play video games. Oh, and you can also use mangoes you collect throughout your gameplay to unlock gallery concept art, which can cost upwards of 20,000 mangoes. Why? At the end of the day, DreamWorks Madagascar Carts offers a decent fun experience so long as you can get it for cheap, let alone just sail the seven seas like a smart person. While it sucks there's not many characters and tracks, not to mention there's imitators instead of the actual cast of voice lines ripped from the movies as another option, it's still got some charm to it. Controls are smooth and the game looks decent for a PS3 budget movie tie-in. Plus, it's still more fun than DreamWorks Superstar Karts on the Nintendo DS. Give the game a try whenever you can and you should find yourself enjoying it. Maybe even with friends and family as it's perfect for everyone to get into. Anyways, that's it for this video. See you all later. Thank <laughs> you.